Hello, welcome to another member highlight. I'm Leslie McVeigh, and my guest today is Kathleen Grammer of Friends of Kochmar, Oregon. Hi. Hi, it's a pleasure to be here again. Well, it's wonderful, and it's been a while. It has. The Oregon has been away for almost a year. It'll be a year at the end of August. Um, and after the big year you had last year, it was the 100th anniversary, I believe. Correct. Um, we've been a little bit sad not to have it here. Let's have an update on what's happening. Well, Foley Baker, the uh, company that's doing the renovation, mm -hmm. is in the Oregon right now. And what happened was they, they took five weeks to take it out of the hall last uh, September. And they had already made the sides, the new sides of the wind chest. So they, they brought those into the hall once they had the organ removed. And over the winter, they installed the sides of the wind chest uh, to, to its original height. It had been chopped off oh. when the organ was moved. Oh. Um, so it was much shorter. So now it's back to its original height. And we don't have to hunch over when we go in it. <laughs> How wonderful. And what are the sides made of? The sides are made of. Um, of wood. Is it oak? Or? It's, uh, I think it's southern pine uh -huh. and poplar mm -hmm. is a popular uh, wood that they use today. Um, and then they brought back the, it's about a third of the organ is back. They brought back the top of the wind chest and that's what they're installing this week. Oh. That's where the pipes sit on the top. So the, all the toe holes where the pipes individually through. sit uh -huh. and, and all of the uh, pneumatic mechanisms which have been redone and are glorious. They're just stunning. They're beautiful. They shine. They're clean. <laughs> they're pristine. <laughs> and um, so, so that part has been installed. And then the next phase in August, I guess they'll bring some of the pipes back and we'll start putting the pipes back on top of the wind chest where they sit. And in August, you said that there might be a possibility that some of us could come and see how it's being reinstalled. Yes. We are having a show and tell <laughs> on August 13th from 5 to 7. Um, and we'll do a PowerPoint presentation. Uh, John Bishop, who is chair of the organ committee and is kind of acting as clerk of the works, will we'll do a presentation about the removal and our trip down to Foley Baker when we saw it in pieces and then people will have an opportunity to see what's happening on stage. How exciting. Now that's something we have to RSVP and it's, it's quite important that we do so. It is because we have limited space. Right, because it will be space. in the um, uh, uh, rehearsal hall. It will. And there isn't and then, as much. And, and getting on stage too, we can only take so many people at a right, time. Right. Um, the other thing that happened was the facade pipes, which is what people really, really look at mm -hmm. from the audience, mm -hmm. um, were removed. And, and taken to Erie, Pennsylvania. They'll be, all the dents will be taken out and they'll be repainted. And the facade will be back in, in September, ready for the first PSO concert. Oh, how <laughs> wonderful. So at least we can see. You'll see, you'll see the facade, yes. We will not hear until another year. Another It'll year. Be September 2014. That's right. When we'll have some huge event, I'm we sure. We will have some huge event. Stay <laughs> tuned. <laughs> Looking forward to that. But just the idea that it takes five weeks to just dismantle something of that size and, and, and the caution that has to be taken when taking something apart. Well, uh, they, have to, they have to catalog every little piece and mm -hmm. part of the organ. And if you go to Foley Baker, you, you see it in pieces in two locations. Um, everything's numbered. Oh. Everything's, everything's all organized. Oh, my goodness. It's it makes me dizzy just thinking amazing. about putting something like that back just together. Amazing. But we're excited about having the little show and tell in August. And to find out more about, um, about the event and to RSVP, they should contact you. At. Yes, uh, they can call 553-4363 or go to the website, foko.org. Well, I'm looking forward to it, and I hope our audience members will, will also get involved and, and come and see what a big deal this is. It, it's huge, yeah. and it's very, very exciting for the city of Portland to have such a magnificent instrument. Yeah. Well, there aren't very many left. No, there aren't. So we are fortunate. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you.